Hi, I'm Jamie Anderson. You're watching Get Your Sax Together. And I'm so excited to say that on this video, you are gonna learn how to play the Pink Panther. Oh! This free sax lesson is part of my Sax Hall of Fame series. You'll find the card up there to link to the other videos in the series. And do not forget, down there you will find in the description a link to a PDF which has got a fabulous transcription of the Pink Panther. Go down there and make sure you get your free PDF to follow along while you learn the lesson. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to be notified of new videos, and let's get on with it. Boosh. Pink Panther, who doesn't want to play Pink Panther on sax? Man, this is just the ultimate sax tune, isn't it? Especially for tenor players. The Pink Panther was composed by Henry Mancini for the 1963 film and features the legendary sax player, Plaz Johnson. Man, Plaz Johnson has got the tone of all time. If you want to model your tenor sound on somebody, check out Plaz Johnson, he is the Don. Mancini wrote the tune with Plaz Johnson in mind, which is why his sound works so well for the tune. It was custom built for him. <laughs> Man, this is so exciting for me. I always wanted to play this tune when I was a little kid in the swing band, but my mate Drew Baker always played it because he played tenor. So now nah, is my big chance. So let's get into it. Okay, four phrases. Here we go. First phrase, we're in concert E minor. So for tenor saxophone, that is F sharp minor. And here is the first phrase. Okay, so quite a long phrase, lots of notes in there. Now the most important thing about the Pink Panther is the tone, and it's not easy to get that real beefy sound. Um, you can check out some of my other videos on embouchure to get a really good tone. But yeah, the sound is really important for this one. Let's play that first phrase a little bit quicker. So, a couple of points to make. You really have to accent the first note a lot more than the second note at the beginning. Ba -da, ba -da. That's really important for the phrasing. And also, the last note has got that really sexy fall off on it. I just go down a chromatic scale and kind of fluff off your embouchure a bit so it fades into this sort of slide. Okay, moving on. Second phrase. Again, you've got that long fall off off the F, so just go down a chromatic scale. Phrase three is exactly the same as phrase one. And you notice on the C, he does the slow bend on the C. That's really important as well. Okay, and now the final phrase, phrase four. Now here's my top pro tip for playing phrase four. When you get to that final section where he alternates between the C and the B, he smears the C into the B. But it's difficult to smear the C with that fingering into the B with that fingering because you have to cross fingers. So you get the bobble. So what I do is I use the side C, this key here, and I just do C to B like that. I think my right hand's out of shot, but I'll do it like this. You go, da -da, da -da, with a side C. I don't often use side C, but it's useful in this case. Now I think we've got enough information to run the whole thing down from top to bottom. Let's do it. 
Okay, here we go. Man, I love this so much. Don't want to stop doing it. Don't want to stop playing it. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to go down to the description to get your free PDF and subscribe and ring the bell and like and love the videos and all that good stuff if you're enjoying what you're seeing. And I'll see you next time on Get Your Sex Together. Second phrase. <laughs> Not that. <laughs>